Hello, YouTube. This is Thomas One Edward Two Henry Three here, and so Sodor's Legend of the Lost Treasure was just released. I saw it yesterday, and won't give it away right yet. I'll save it for the review. But anyway, I back in the I think it was April or something. I decided to since I uh well since the Magic Railroad review got um. It, well, it was fun. I decided, oh, why not I do all the Thomas specials? I mean, it is the 70th anniversary. So, yeah. So, I'll be doing a review of every Thomas special after Magic Railroad, including Sodor's Legend of the Lost Treasure. I will say that um, these reviews won't be as high quality as the Magic Railroad one. Like, sorry if it's just one picture throughout the whole thing, but it, it's actually a lot of effort to, like, find the right pictures, you have to go on, like, the wiki or, uh, YouTube, and, it, yeah, it's just a lot of effort to get all the pictures, and then edit them all in, uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna stick with one picture, um, but anyway, you, f you can stand listening to my boring voice, here we go. Oh, and by the way, these will all contain spoilers. And, okay, so I'll start with Calling All Engines, released for the... Yeah, 60th anniversary. And how is it? Um, not bad, but not good either. I'd say it's... It's okay. There are a few good stuff, but at the same time, it was pretty slow. And I mean really slow. Not to mention those god-awful learning segments. Speaking of learning segments, this film kind of felt like an hour-long learning segment. Does it make it that bad? Um, in some ways, yes, but again, my opinion on the special is pretty smack down the middle. So what's the story? Well, the engines are building an airport, but there's a huge conflict between the steam engines and diesels. More problems happen when, like, the suspension bridge collapses during a storm, and because of conflicts, no work gets done. One night, Thomas has a dream with Lady and Rusty, who are working together, and Thomas realizes that the only way that the work is going to get done is that if all the engines work together. This is easier said than done, because the two sides are really bitter towards each other, and Thomas has to convince Diesel 10 to help them. A lot of people seem to hate the fact that Diesel 10 is in this special. Although, still an asshole, he isn't evil like he was in Thomas and the Magic Railroad. I can definitely understand why fans wouldn't like this, because, well... This guy was an ultimate badass in Magic Railroad, and it was established pretty well that he got what was coming to him. But as for me, I honestly didn't mind too much. I always consider... I do... Th I do still think it was a bad decision, but... But yet, I always considered Magic Railroad to be on an alternate universe, because the events are never men mentioned again. And who knows, Sir Topham Hatt kept giving Diesel another chance after screwing up like what, ten times? Maybe he let Diesel 10 have another chance. And while he wasn't really the bad guy in the special, he was still pretty intimidating, with his voice and those shots of Pinchy. Lady's appearance, on the other hand, I really liked. Her being only in a dream makes sense and doesn't throw any cont continuity off. I also like how she was working with Rusty. That's a pretty random choice. So, what does or doesn't work with calling all engines? Well, like I said before, the special is really slow. This could have easily been shortened down to less than 20 minutes. In fact, it just felt like an hour-long episode. All the other specials had some sort of big feel that made it special. You know, because it's a special. This one does not. It's just a stretched-out new series episode. The learning segments are absolute hell, and should have been put in the special features menu of the DVD. Out of, the, out of all the specials, I'd say this one is definitely the least memorable for me. That doesn't mean it's bad, it just has a lot of forgettable stuff. It doesn't have any action, which I don't mind, but at the same time, you gotta make the non-action interesting. And here, it's not. I think the only thing that stood out was that there were building an airport, because, well, I love planes, and the appearance of Diesel 10, Lady, and Daisy. Oh, and Derek. Yeah, that's another problem. What's with Derek making, like, a five-second appearance? If you got his model, then shouldn't you have incorporated him somehow? The songs are totally forgettable, but pretty much every song from seasons 8 to 12 were. As for the positive stuff, 
Well, again, it's got some good stuff as well as bad stuff. The greatest thing was obviously seeing old characters like Daisy, George, Lady, etc. My only problem was that many of them had no speaking roles at all, but at least they're there. I also found the disagreements, though not always interesting, to be pretty funny, like when the engines were all biffing and bashing each other. Now that is one thing I laughed at. That is definitely the greatest feud between steam and diesel engines. It was pure gold. And I liked the message that the special was trying to get out, where it gets done if you work as a team. It's definitely overused, but it works good here. Not great, but still good. In conclusion, calling all engines was definitely a bore at times, but it had a few good stuff. It'll entertain kids, very little ones, but otherwise I'd give it a skip. However, if you watch it, it wouldn't do any harm. I'd give it a C-. My opinion is pretty split down the middle. And now next time, The Great Discovery.